So today I thought I'd share my opinion as to the top five easiest common houseplants that you can get in most garden centres. So you might be able to see in front of me the plants that I'm going to be talking about today. And just quickly, just to give a bit of a recap, so we've got the Tradescantia and the Ficus elastica, the Epipremnum or the Pothos family, Peperomia, and the Jungle Cactus. So this is a Rickrack Cactus. So starting from the very end, this is a purple Tradescantia. There is another name which I think is highly offensive. I don't know when it was named, but I will let you Google that. But essentially this is a Tradescantia. This is a purple form, as I said. You might be able to see some of these leaves if I bring it a bit closer to the camera. Um, you might be able to see quite how purple some of these leaves are and there's also some silver on the leaves as well. It is a trailing plant, it is relatively succulent but in terms of its care you'd want to have this in bright and direct light as for most house plants and I have, as you can see, all of these plants in terracotta generally, unless a plant specifically wants to remain wet for a long period of time, I will generally have them in terracotta. And so this is, again, as I mentioned, bright and direct light. It doesn't like to get fully dry, I find, because otherwise you start getting some crispier leaves. So I try to water this just before it goes fully dry, but probably one of the easiest trailing plants ever. Also, another top tip with this one, the same thing as a pothos cutting if you take a cutting of this and put it in a water propagation with other plants that you're trying to water propagate and they take a long time to water propagate this i think releases the same kind of notion as a bit of a growth hormone when it's growing in water the same way that the pothos does so if you put one of these cuttings in with something else that you're trying to root in water it should go faster and actually i've tried this it has worked nearly every time with me with this plant so the Tradescantia, I would always say whenever you get this, you probably get a bigger plant from a plant store or a garden centre. Always take an insurance cutting and try to root that out. This was actually mine. This was a much larger plant originally, but eventually it became quite crispy. And you do tend to get, when they get quite large and cumbersome in size, they're difficult to repot because the stems are quite fragile. So always have a backup. This was my backup. This was one of one or two propagations that I did dumped it into soils, grown like mad. Next one on the list is the Ficus elastica that most people would be aware of. This you can see is a very, very small Ficus elastica at the moment. And again, as with most house plants, maybe not all of the ones that are here, this does enjoy bright and direct. Generally ficuses will like as much sun as you can give them, probably not put them to bake in a south facing window, but they do love, love, love the sun. This, as with most ficus, they can be a bit fussy when it comes to kind of how you care with for them. In terms of watering, they will drop leaves if you move locations too often, but if you get the consistency down with this, if you just want a plant that you're going to water like once a week, have it in the same location for like a very long time and it seems to be enjoying it, this is a plant for you. After you find the right place for it and you get a schedule down for watering, it will just keep on trucking. Now the pothos, so this is uh, a marble queen pothos. Most people will know this plant. You can put it in most locations in the house, it'll be fine. Um, let the soil dry out before you water again. Um, and I think that's pretty much about this for care and just watch your trail essentially. If you want it to get much larger leaves, put a moss pole on, let it grow up, it will get bigger leaves. If you don't, if you're not so fast and you want it to trail, just let it be and it will just start growing quite happily. So this is an example of a jungle cactus. This is a rickrack cactus. I will put the scientific name down below because it's eluding me at the moment, but super super easy cactuses they don't need as much bright light as a regular cactus will be like kind of a, a more of a desert cactus so this can go it still i think does better with bright and direct light and like most cactuses do let it dry out before you water it 
but this will kind of trail down and it's a bit more interesting than just a bog standard kind of columnar um, cactus. So there's a lot of different varieties of tropical cactuses. Some of them are called the mistletoe cactus. They look a bit like hair. The final plant on the list is Peperomia. So with most Peperomia, they tend to remain quite small and compact. So if you don't have a lot of space, you live in an apartment, this is a perfect plant. Again, bright and direct. I think pretty much everything on here is bright and direct with the exception of maybe the pothos that can probably take a bit of a lower light. Um, same thing with this, let it dry out and then water it. Peperomia have got very fine roots. So if you overwater it, it will start showing you signs relatively quickly and the leaves are quite succulent as well. So generally speaking, if you don't know when to water this plant, try to give the leaves a bit of a squeeze. So these leaves are quite stiff at the moment. I can't bend them easily. It means that this doesn't need watering. I know for a fact it doesn't need watering. I watered it yesterday. But yeah, this is my selection of five types of plants that are quite easy house plants to take care of. I know I've mentioned a few niggles for each one of them, but to be fair, they are the kind of plants that generally speaking, if you give them some decent light, you don't move them too much, you water them when the soil is dry or just about ready to go dry, you're golden. They don't need an awful lot of fussing. You can kind of set them and leave them and forget them essentially. Obviously remember to water them and care for them, but they don't need a lot of fussing. So for me, these are some of the top five easiest plants to take care of. And I know other people will always mention the pothos and maybe the peperomia, but not everybody else will mention the jungle cactuses, the ficus. The ficus can be tricky at times, but the ficus elastica, the rubber plant, is quite easy, I find, in my care. And the tritoscantia, again, really, really good. The thing that all of these plants have in common is that nearly all of them, I think they're all of them, yeah? All of them were rooted cuttings. So these were all plants that were kind of basically propagations of other much larger plants and they are growing quite happily. That's why they're all quite small in size, but they're easier to present in this video rather than me bringing in the mother plants, which are huge. Um, if you've got any questions, comments, drop them down below. Let's have that conversation. In the meantime, I hope you have a great rest of the day and hopefully I shall see you here soon. Thanks. Bye.